He is known for discovering the link between diseases and chromosome abnormalities, specifically Down syndrome and CRI du Chat syndrome. He is recognized for his strong opposition to the use of prenatal testing for eugenic purposes. His name is Jerome Lejeune. In the world of genetics, one name stands out, Jerome Jean-Louis Marie Lejeune, a French pediatrician and geneticist whose groundbreaking discoveries have reshaped our understanding of chromosome abnormalities. Born in France, Lejeune's passion for medicine and genetics led him on a remarkable journey of scientific inquiry. Lejeune's most significant breakthrough came when he discovered the link between diseases and chromosome abnormalities. His research focused on conditions like Down syndrome and CRI du Chat syndrome, where he found a direct correlation to trisomy 21 and specific chromosomal deletions, respectively. These findings revolutionized the field of genetics, providing crucial insights into the causes of these disorders and opening doors to further research and potential treatments. But Lejeune's contributions went beyond the laboratory. He was a staunch advocate against the misuse of amniocentesis prenatal testing for eugenic purposes. Lejeune strongly opposed the selective and elective abortion of unborn children based on genetic abnormalities, believing it to be immoral and against the principles of human dignity. His unwavering stance on this issue earned him recognition and veneration in the Catholic Church, with Pope Francis declaring him venerable in January 2021. Jerome Jean Louis Marie Lejeune's life is a testament to the power of scientific inquiry and the importance of ethical considerations in the field of genetics. His discoveries have illuminated the path towards better understanding and managing chromosome abnormalities, while his advocacy has sparked discussions on the moral implications of genetic testing. Lejeune's legacy serves as a reminder that science must always be guided by compassion and respect for human life. In the late 1950s, Jerome Lejeune, working alongside Martha Gauthier in Raymond Turpin's laboratory, made a groundbreaking discovery. On May 22, 1958, Lejeune noticed something remarkable. He found that individuals with Down syndrome had an extra copy of chromosome 21. This finding, published by the French Academy of Sciences, was the first time that a link was established between chromosomal abnormalities and intellectual development issues. Lejeune's journey into understanding Down syndrome began in the early 1950s when he joined Turpin's department. Together, they explored the connection between an individual's characteristics and their fingerprints and hand lines, known as dermatoglyphs. Through their research, they determined that the anomalies in the dermatoglyphs of children with Down syndrome occurred during embryo formation. In 1956, biologists from Lund University in Sweden announced that humans have 46 chromosomes. Turpin had the idea of using cell cultures to count the number of chromosomes in trisomy, and Gautier, who had expertise in cell culture and staining techniques, took up the challenge. With limited resources, she set up the first in vitro cell culture laboratory in France. Due to a lack of proper equipment, Gautier entrusted her slides to Lejeune, who offered to capture the microscope images in a better equipped laboratory. In August 1958, the photographs revealed the presence of the extra chromosome in individuals with Down syndrome. Lejeune's laboratory notebook, dated May 22, 1958, documented his success in demonstrating the presence of 47 chromosomes in a child with Down syndrome. In June 1958, he identified another case, and a photo of the karyotype garnered attention at the International Congress of Genetics. The full impact of Lejeune's discovery became clear when the French Academy of Sciences published the team's paper in January 1959, presenting three case studies of children with Down syndrome. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.